Hey guys, it's Jenny. Welcome back to Solid Gold. Today is the day that I show you how I set up my 90 gallon aquarium. For a little while now, I've been wanting to expand into some other types of fish other than goldfish. So I started looking more closely at some other fish that have always caught my eye, but I always thought, well, I'll never have any other fish other than goldfish anyways, so while they're pretty, they're not for me. Well, now I'm kind of thinking maybe they are for me. Maybe I like other kinds of fish too. I'm not going to tell you guys yet what fish I'm putting in this tank. I'm actually going to save that for the very end of this series because I want to keep you guys guessing and see if you can figure it out. After I had done enough research to feel like I knew what I was getting myself into with getting these fish and I was well prepared, the next step was to actually acquire the aquarium. And here's some footage from that. Today I'm on my way to a little fish store called the Poseidon Aquarium in Daytona Beach. I've never been there before so I really don't know what to expect. The main reason I'm going is because I want to buy an aquarium. I don't know what their selection is going to be like or if they're going to have the size of tank and the dimensions that I'm looking for, but we'll see. There's tons of fish. I just finished up inside Poseidon Aquarium and you can see behind me there I got a 90 gallon aquarium. It's not drilled because I didn't want to go with a sump for this setup. I have a sump in one of my goldfish tanks, my 75 gallon. I just am not like a huge fan of it. It may not be that it was set up right to begin with so that might be why I don't like it but I wanted to try a canister filter so I got the 90 gallon aquarium, a pretty nice tall stand for it, a canister filter and a fake rock background and a couple pieces of driftwood too. Not everything fits in my car. I've got like a small SUV. So we were able to fit the aquarium and then the other random stuff, but not the stand. I'm coming back out this way anyways on Tuesday to get my hair done. I'm just gonna have to pick up the stand then. So it's kind of a bummer that I can't set everything up today, but that's fine. I can wait. What are you doing? Ooh, we got two cats in. Sammy, he's in your habitat.
As far as aquarium stores go, you guys, I was actually pretty pleasantly surprised because usually I find something to be lacking in many little aquarium stores that I've been to, but this one was pretty good. They were had a pretty good amount of space, pretty good selection. The owner, Nick, was there both times helping me, and he was super knowledgeable. Obviously, I'm not new to fish keeping, but I did have some questions about what he would recommend as far as a canister filter. He helped me with that. No BS. Just told me what I needed. Nothing more. You know, wasn't trying to sell me on like the most expensive things, which I appreciate. <laughs> Just a really, really cool store. I will definitely be going back there. Now I have to go to my hair appointment but I wish I could just go straight home and start setting up the tank. I'm home now after my hair appointment and you can see the 90 gallon aquarium behind me. So exciting. I wiped everything down when I got home because it was a little dusty and the glass had some water spots on it and stuff. So everything's wiped down and clean and ready to start setting up. I had a picture collage here. I already started taking it down. You can see there's a a gap there where something used to be. So I'm gonna have to take those things down because they're kind of in the way of the aquarium. And then I'm gonna go get something that I can soak the driftwood in. You're supposed to soak the driftwood for a while before you actually put it in your aquarium because it's gonna release tannins, so it's gonna make the water look really brown. Here's the big 32 gallon garbage can that I got from the hardware store. It's currently filling up and I've got my driftwood here. I'm just going to soak each one of these. You're supposed to soak the driftwood before you put it in your aquarium so that it has a chance to release all the tannins before you put it in your aquarium because nobody really wants brown tannin aquarium water for a display tank. And the big piece doesn't even fit all the way in there, it's sticking out, so I'll probably have to soak it for a while and then flip it upside down and continue soaking it. I should have got the bigger garbage can. So that would be enough, but it is clearly not enough. Here's the stand and tank set up in my living room. I have this light on it right now, but this is not the light that I'm going to use. It's just so I could test what it would look like with the light on. And then under here I have my canister filter not set up yet. I got some new buckets from the hardware store so I can have dedicated buckets for this system and I installed a little light so that I can see the filter and other things I'm storing under here pretty easily. Now at this point I pretty much had all the main elements that I needed to get the aquarium set up underway. So in next week's video I'm going to show you guys filling up the tank, testing the filter, and adding the decorative elements like the substrate and the background and the driftwood. So stay tuned for that. This tank setup is going to be in a series of several videos over the next coming weeks. Every Friday there's going to be a new video update on the setup progress of this aquarium. So definitely stay tuned for next Friday. If you're not subscribed already, you're going to want to subscribe so you don't miss it. If you are subscribed, make sure you hit that bell button down below so you get a notification as soon as the new videos come out. I also wanted to tell you guys about something new that I started, which is Solid Gold Membership. Solid Gold Membership is kind of like my own version of Patreon on my website. See, websites like Patreon actually take a percentage of everything that you give to creators. So I just decided to cut out the middleman and make my own kind of Patreon type thing, which is called Solid Gold Membership. If you sign up as a Solid Gold member, you are directly supporting me and what I am doing here with Solid Gold. In addition to that, there's also some perks and benefits that I wanted to give to you. So everyone that signs up as a member will get the two pack of Solid Gold stickers. You'll also get 10% off on anything on my website. Also, probably the most fun part, I think, is there is is a secret solid gold members only Facebook group so you get the chance to interact with me on a more personal and one-on-one -on -one basis and with the other members too in that group we share stories with each other about our fish keeping journey we share videos and pictures and we pretty much just have a good time so if you want to get in on that go ahead and follow the link in the description section below that'll bring you to my website that explains all about solid gold membership and how you can sign up as always thank you you guys so much for watching and supporting me by sharing this video and giving it a thumbs up. I'll see you in next week's video and until then stay gold.